for the last two years, I have been a representative of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in the most wonderful place in the world, Piura, Peru. During the beginning, uh, oh man, <laughs> it was tough. It was really tough being a missionary at the beginning. So far, for the most part, it's really weird because I've never followed so many rules in my life. And well, it kind of stinks sometimes, but I've liked it. The gospel is true, I think. Uh, I did not understand the rules. Um, I wasn't sure where, I wasn't sure if I really had a testimony of the church or if I was just doing it because my parents wanted me to or because all my friends were doing it and going out on missions. I wasn't sure. Um, today is October 30th, 2014. It's been my first week out, actually out in the mission field. My area's name is Takala. Um, it's, it's very, very difficult here. I'm sitting there and I don't understand Spanish. I can barely speak Spanish and I just think to myself, what the heck am I doing here? I do not belong out here. I mean, just, I want to go home. I want to go sleep in my own bed. I want to go eat something that is not a rice. Nobody could understand me. It was embarrassing, to be honest. And I got really frustrated and really sad really fast. Got my first baptism. Like last, last Saturday, I had my first baptism. Happy New Year's! New Year's 2015! I remember very distinctively, I was about six, seven months into my mission, really frustrated. With new companion, I was really sick, I had Giardia. I was walking miles and miles in a hot sun all day, and I didn't know if it was worth it. I was trying, I gave the testimony, I was reading my Book of Mormon, but I really didn't feel it yet. <laughs> So I decided to do that classic, good old, close your eyes, flip through the pages of the scriptures, open it up, you know, put your finger through and glide them across the page until you stop. And you look down and you find some magical scripture that's supposed to fix all of your problems. At least that's how it went in my brain. So I did it. I closed my eyes, I flipped my fingers through the page and I stopped, looked down, and it was this white page in the Book of Mormon that says a guide to the scriptures. Now that was frustrating. <laughs> I had gone through so much. I had walked so many miles in the hot sun. I had struggled so much with my testimony, knowing if I should be on a mission, if the church was true, if this was the right thing to do. And my answer was a white page that said, a guide to the scriptures. Now what happened next really impacted me. And I went out that day with my companion and he started teaching in the Book of Mormon to an investigator. I don't really remember what was going on. I did not understand very well what was going on, but I remember this moment. He opens his Book of Mormon. He flips it to Alma 37. And as if it were spoken in English, I heard the following scripture. And now, my son, I have, some, I have somewhat to say concerning this thing which our fathers call a ball or director. Our fathers called it liahona, which is being interpreted a compass, and the Lord prepared it. I heard that as if he was talking to me, and now my son. I heard that the Lord prepared a guide for his children to get through the desert. This guide was called a Liahona in Lehi's case. In our case, it's the Holy Ghost. We have our own personal Liahona that through small and simple means guides us through life. And that instant I recognized that. I recognized the truth of this book and the power that it holds when we really study and read the Book of Mormon goes on to say, and it did work for them according to their faith in God. Therefore, if they had faith to believe that God should point the way that they should go, behold, it was done. Therefore, they had this miracle 
and so many other miracles wrought by the power of God day by day. When I heard that, it hit me so hard that according to their faith in God, the spindles would spin, and by their small acts of obedience, God showed them the way. It clicked. I understood why I was supposed to wake up at 6.30 every morning. I understood why I was supposed to go out and proselyte, be obedient, be punctual. I understood why the prophets tell us to read the Book of Mormon every single day. And from that moment on, my life turned around. My life changed. I found out for myself that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the true church on earth and that it contains the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I was able to feel this for myself. And I am so grateful for the opportunity that I've been able to have to serve my mission, to serve the wonderful people of Peru.